Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 482. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is new 3D animated corner billboard set up for Milan. A company called Monogrid has been commissioned by Netflix to pop up a, net, a neat 3D advertising project in Milan converting the corner of a building in a short scene with the cast of from My Little Pony, A New Generation. These are pretty common nowadays, covering many of the heavily populated city squares, various more metropolitan areas. So, <clears throat> uh, they did a breakdown of what they did and so on, and it's kind of interesting, it's kind of interesting. And yes, um, who wrote this, Seth? Yes. Um, like Seth mentioned before, uh, these things are pretty common. Like you see them in New York, I think Times Square. That's that's a good place to do it. I've seen some in Japan, and so on. And <coughs> they're they're really they're, they're really cool advertising um, medium where you do this kind of interactive thing and so on. And yeah, the effect's cool. Um, I really don't want to show the video, but um, go into the show notes to check it out. <clears throat> uh, but overall, it shows the main five uh, hopping around on the corner, just saying hello and whatnot, and just letting them know that um, the new generation is on Netflix and you should go watch it. So yeah, oh man, um, I wonder if this is going to spread maybe to another country and so on, if it does. Are they going to be under Monogrid or somebody else? So let's move on to the next topic. Uh, or next news. Short Q&A with My Little Pony, a new generation director, Jose L. Uja, something like that. Yet another video that I can't really show, but uh, you guys should go check it out. And... I've seen this video a while back before and um, got a few things of note. Um, one of the few things like, yeah, this one. Uh, do you think people will love G5 as much as G4? And his answer is was, um, people, uh, older fans should really give G5 a chance, take a look-see because they'll be surprised and who knows, maybe you'll uh enjoy it as much as they did the show and at the same time too he was talking about uh, some, somebody asked like uh, did you do did any preparation uh before doing g5 and he mentioned that uh him and the crew watch a lot of g1 and g4 just to get into the mindset of what made the show uh, lovable and popular and so on and <clears throat> Personally, if you ask me, G5 hits that um, point of um, appeal for f from what G4 had. Uh, mostly, I think it was later on that we kind of felt that, like um, G3 to G sorry, uh, Season 3 or higher, probably. But from what I can tell, he really... Um, went dive in like he really <clears throat> went all out into um making the movie and just trying to get things perfect and yeah man uh this kind of short interviews are pretty awesome uh, i can't say much because i don't remember all of them oh yeah i i remember one which is pretty funny and uh who would you like to hang out with in G5 and he didn't really give a straight answer because uh, the answer he gave was uh, it's according to the mood like if I want to uh, if I want to have a, cro a shoulder to cry on uh, he'll go to Sunny if he wants to party uh, he'll go with um, nom, 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 uh, Pip and Pip I guess what does this mean, Pip? They would say, Paul only Q did that has the name. Yes. 
and if one looks cool, hang on, zip and so on, so on, so on. So yeah, uh, go check out the video. It's not that long and it's really awesome. So now, <coughs> Symbiote Studios, Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle plushie available November 15. Uh, this video is recorded on the... Yes, that will be... When this video comes out, it will be available. So, uh, Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash plushies were announced a while back from Symbiote Studios over on Twitter. And the time that has finally come to add Sorry, to order them. These guys are the highest quality uh, we've seen since 4DE left the pony scene all those years ago. Uh, so hopefully we end up getting a full set along with some background that desperately need the plushy love, especially with uh, mink fabric here. Uh, maybe if Maybe even some life size someday. These are about twelve inch tall. Rainbow Dash is about thirty dollars. Twilight Sparkle is about twenty five dollars. Both can be found on the website. And I checked their website out for a bit, and they have pretty interesting. Ah, cool! Now they popped it up. Oh, a correction. Yes, uh, Rainbow Dash is twenty five dollars. So yes, um. Uh, this is direct link. Cool. Uh, so yes, um, Symbiote Studios have a lot of other IPs that they have, from Overcooked to Cat Quest, Catnip Bravo, Rivals of Aether, Transformers, Shovel Knight, GI Joe, Tripwire, and Pill Plush. Okay, you know I'm gonna see what Transformers offers us, and also Shovel Knight. Okay, we have Megatron. Um, Prime, oh, Starscream, and they have t-shirts, uh, none for ponies, okay. Shovel Knight, you have Unite, I think that's a bad guy, and that's Shovel Knight Black variant, and yeah, so uh, they do offer a good quality plush, so um, I hope that they stick around this time. And if you're wondering how does 4DE plush looks, fortunately for you guys, I have one. It's a bit dusty. I need to dust her off. Sorry, sorry. And I'm gonna change to the full webcam. Yes. This is huh, okay. This this is Twilight from 4DE. She, I I I I don't know if she's 12 inch or not, but um, she looks show accurate and really good quality. I, I do remember that um, EQD had their link here before but since they're not doing any it, make, it makes sense that they took it down and oh my goodness why you need a shower so yes um, 4DE why in your face oh <laughs> right, okay sorry Twy. put you here for a bit <clears throat> Okay. All right. So getting back on track. Um, it looks. It doesn't look the same, but it looks show accurate, and that's the most important part. So if you want to get yourself a plush, um, Symbiote Studios is the place to be. Now let's move on to the next and last news. <clears throat> 2D YouTube exclusive Generation Five animated. Releasing in spring. Ooh, okay, um, let's see what it says. Uh, we have some interesting news coming out of licensing mag in regards to the future of G5. <laughs> we already know about the series releasing in fall of next year along with the 44 minute special for summer, but one includes something else entirely a 2D animation in. Sorry. Oh my god, Twilight was so dusty. <laughs> Alright, um uh in it else entirely, a 2D animation is apparently coming to YouTube. Uh with availability in Italy in the spring, based on everything else G5 has been 
dropping in regards to main format G5 release. That will most likely mean worldwide. Hopefully we get some previews of all the upcoming pony soon. For now, Hasbro seems to be basking in the huge success that uh, the movie saw. All right. <clears throat> uh, that one caught me by surprise. Just um, didn't really pay attention to this one. Just read the highlights. So, I uh, mentioned before that we are going to get the 44 minute special. If I remember right, there were four, was it? I think past me would answer four, probably. But um, besides that, the special is going to be in 2D. Uh, that is fascinating. Um, I, I'll explain why. Because <clears throat> doing things in 2D when, when when you have all the rigging ready and whatnot, and this is assuming if they're using Toon Boom, which is an animation program uh, similar to Flash back in the days, but uh, the industry has been moving towards Toon Boom now. So anyway, um, getting back on track. Uh, if they have all the assets done in Toon Boom, ready to go, and oh uh, wow. Uh, do we? Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that for a bit. Sorry. <clears throat> um, once they have the rigging ready, uh, everything done, like all the assets are available for them to use and reuse, uh, doing a special would be not bad. And here's the real question: uh, Is the series going to be in 2D? Uh, uh, I'm not hundred percent sure how that would go overall i mean um movie uh, certain movies that are done in uh, certain, certain animations that are done in 3d are mm, have very uh, qualities um uh, one good example is the ninjago movie the ninjago theatrical release looks really good it looks like the lego movie and so on but when it came to the TV series, the quality really dropped down. So, this is compared to uh, what was seen in the movies. So, this idea or, or this thinking can be applied to the My Little Pony movie. Uh, the movie looks good, but when it comes to the series, it looks bad or not as good. So... For them to move it to 2D and still keep that uh, visual quality might make sense. It might make a lot of sense for them to go that way because um, people will enjoy people will enjoy the aesthetic of the show and it will look good. And when they have a movie, they can splurge on the budget to go 3D again. And this is not including the voice acting where I've had my concerns where the voice actress for the movie won't make a comeback to the series. And when the series is done or when the series is going and there's a second movie, they shift back to the um, original actors. I mean, this is one of those things where there are a lot of headaches going in. So I'm here just thinking how are things going to go for now? I do hope that if the original cast can't come back to voice their role in the series, at least we'll try and get a sound alike. Or professional actors, voice actors, actors and actress that can catch the spirit of the character. So yeah, I mean, that's what I hope for, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, 2022 is not that long. That's not it's gonna be long. It's what November now, so yeah. So anyway, <coughs> let's move on to the well. Um, next topic, and next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So what have I doing? Do, 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 what have I been doing with my week? Is that 
did a bit of D&D. Those videos will be up on my personal YouTube channel. Um, if you want to watch me play D&D and stuff, um, you can go there and join in the adventure. Uh, for other things other than that, uh, I watched Venom. That they break Carnage. Uh, Venom 2, essentially. And it was interesting. Venom 2 was interesting. It it had this... How do I put it? Venom 2 didn't know where its footing was. It, it wasn't sure if it wanted to be serious or comedy or what. But as time goes on, they eventually found their footing and they kind of got back on track and so on. And essentially, um, the movie is fun, especially that end teaser, which is only one. So you don't have to wait till the end and so on. So anyway, uh, yes, I say that it's a good movie, but nothing that you can't wait till it's out on Netflix or whatever it is. So yeah, that, that's my review of Venom. So let's wrap this up. Let's, let's wrap this up. I have... Eh, I, I, I bit my lip and so it hurts. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast over on um, iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Sotera, Sometimes Silver, reviewing funny episodes, comics, movies, specials. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And they can vary from cartoons, comics, animes, mangas, to movies and video games. So, um, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. It could be all the dust. Thanks to like. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next week with a nail fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.